this summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Taken from about the 12. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. They're going to look to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Looking to throw. They'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a pretty nice throw right there from the rookie. And this, of course, is game number two of his NFL career. His guys did not get the win, Charles, in the opener. But what did you see from him last week? Well, I think all things considered, he played pretty well. And I don't think I'd pin the loss on him. But there's no question, this is a learning process. And that was step one. And he's hoping on the road to glory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Naeem Hines, his first carry. A gain of three, second down. This defense for the Steelers, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And what I saw in film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright? Now an open man, that's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete, and it's picked up by the Steelers. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over a... And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. A 40-yard punt, one yard. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over. So they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. Because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles. They don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. Now on first down, he'll drop the thrower. And get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. Now a handoff looking right. 
And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They'll run with Harris. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. A throw left side caught by the tight end, Fryer Muth. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They run for it with Harris. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take it. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On the ground, it's Harris. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Second and two. They'll look to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll drop the throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. He's got his tight end, Fryer Muth, right side. On play action, they'll throw. Now he's got it. And the Steelers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. From the two, here's first and goal. Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the 10. Oh, good return up past the 30. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it on punt's the first better. Drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Here's the second and seven. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They'll run on the inside handoff. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Now it's second and nine. They'll set up a throw. On the right side open is Gesicki. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He'll drop to throw. Quickly into the hands of Fuller. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 